but let's try it again. Mm. Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. Today we're making infused inside out chocolate chip cookies. What? Come on over here, let's get started, baby. Let's go ahead and put the recipe on the screen. If you need to, pause it. Otherwise, it will be in the description. A couple things to note. Number one, the can of butter should be softened. Also, the large egg you'll use in this recipe should be at room temperature. The first step of this process is to take the two different sugars along with the can of butter and go ahead and cream them together in a mixing bowl. After you've done that, you're gonna add your other wet ingredients. The large egg that's at room temperature, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of milk. I used whole milk, or 15 milliliters by the way. I used whole milk, but you could use any kind of milk you, you like, right? Then I went ahead and slowly started adding the dry ingredients. One cup of all-purpose flour, or 125 grams, two thirds a cup of natural unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one eighth a teaspoon of salt. And then after mixing that all together, I folded in roughly 200 grams of chocolate. Now at this point, I was thinking maybe I'm okay with that 200 grams of chocolate, but as I was waiting for this to, to meld in the refrigerator for three hours, I went ahead and bought another uh, white chocolate bar so that we could add some pieces at the end. That's optional, of course. After I've got this all combined, what I'm gonna do is put this in the refrigerator for approximately three hours, minimally, huh? And the reason you want it to be in the fridge for three hours is for all the flavors to combine and meld, etc. After three hours has passed, I took the dough or the cookies out of the fridge. I let them rest for 10 minutes before forming them into balls and putting them on a cookie sheet. I use parchment paper to make it easy to pick them up and take them off the cookie sheet. And also you'll notice that after turning these into balls, I did not press them down or flatten them in any way. And the reason for that is to make them a little bit of a fatter cookie. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Fa uh, Celsius, and you're gonna cook these cookies for approximately 11 to 12 minutes. You'll notice after I took out the first batch that I added some more pieces of white chocolate to the top of the cookies. By adding them at the end, they will not melt fully into the cookie like the pieces that were added into the batter or the dough, right? I'm going ahead to form the last uh, cookies to put in for the second batch and I ended up having a little extra chocolate. The reality is I used three chocolate bars, and the reason I buy chocolate bars instead of chocolate chips is because it's cheaper in Spain, huh? And so in the end, uh, I bought 300 grams of chocolate, but I probably used about 275 grams. You don't have to use that much chocolate. You can use less. Use as much as you want to your taste. You'll see I'm adding the extra pieces here. Again, this is up to you. You do not have to do this, right? Now, when I was taking the picture, unfortunately, I put them on that plate there. I took the, the thumbnail picture. And then when I was recording the outro, I did drop a few of these cookies. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys like this recipe. All right. So there you have it. This is not take one of the outro. Unfortunately, I dropped some of the cookies. But anyway, so let's give one a try. I did already try this, but let's try it again. Mmm. This is so chocolatey. In fact, it's optional, right? I added some chocolate at the end, some white chocolate at the end to put on top, and that way they would look nice, right? You don't have to do that. Mind you, I use like between 250, 300 grams of chocolate. You don't have to use that much. You could use 200 grams of chocolate or 150 grams, entirely up to you. Depends on how chocolatey you want to make them, right? Also, you don't have to use can of butter. I used the can of butter from the ABV. When we made ABV can of butter, I'll link it up at the top. That's the can of butter that I use for this. So I actually don't know how strong these are gonna be. They could be super strong or they could be not as strong. I don't know yet. We're gonna find out <laughs> while I'm editing the video. <laughs> now, of course, if you use can of butter where you knew what you were putting into it, how much percentage of THC, et cetera, you would know how strong these are. Alternatively, you could use uh, sludge as well or pulp. You could use infused coconut oil if you want, but it would change the taste of the cookies unless it was refined coconut oil where you couldn't taste coconut, right? <laughs> Guys, gals, everybody, I hope you like this video. Let's have another bite, yo. Especially, I'm so frustrated for dropping the... <laughs> mm. 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time, I'm out!